Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. So in this video, we're gonna analyze a fish species distribution on forest lands using intersect tool in RGIS. So now let's get started. So now in the table of content section, you can able to visualize we have uh, three different layers. The first layer which indicates the salmon fish species and the second layer here indicates the forest areas and the third layer is our base map of world imagery. And now here, the blue color is a range of a single fish species called as a salmon or a Chinook salmon. So the blue here indicates the potential location of the, uh, this particular fish and the green here indicates the forest areas. So the objective of this analysis is to, uh, to determine how much of the forest service land does the fish potentially resides on. So the blue one here also indicates the, the watershed uh, based representation. So the blue indicates both the uh, fish species called the Chinook Salmon as well as it indicates the, the watershed representation of this particular studied region. And this particular uh, salmon uh, fish could be in any of the streams in the watershed. So we are basically using a terrestrial and aquatic unit to model, uh, model the fish species range here. So again, the objective of our work is to determine how much of this uh, forest area this particular fish species resides on. So for that, we're going to use the intersect tool for our analysis. And now let me explain about this intersect tool. So it computes the geometric intersection of the input features, the features or the portion of features which overlaps in all layers and all the feature classes will be written to the output feature classes. So now you can able to visualize an example. So this is our input and this is our intersect feature. So this, this is, will be our output. So this tool, the intersect tool, which uh, gives us just a portion of the features where the where these two uh, layers overlaps so that we can answer that question on how much area uh, is this uh, fish species on. So now to do that, we're going to navigate to this option here. That is the uh, arc toolbox. So once you click that, so the window pops up saying arc toolbox here. So in that, we're going to navigate to this option called analysis tool. So in that, we're going to click this tool called Overlay. And now here, you can able to visualize a tool called Intersect Tool. So now let me click this tool. So now this is our Intersect Tool. So here, you can able to visualize the Intersect Tool. So uh, this will be our input features. And this is our Intersect feature. And the output will be this particular feature. So now the input feature will be, we're going to click this uh, layer called Salmon. And now we're going to select uh, our second layer that is our forest areas. So once you did that, we're going to save our output file location. Now let me uh, save to my folder location. And now let me navigate to this particular folder here. So now here, I'm going to enter the name as Chinook Salmon on uh, forest areas. So now here I have entered as Chinook Salmon on forest land and click save. So now in the join attributes, we're going to set this, uh, we're going to select uh, this particular option here, all. So we have uh, attached the attributes based on upon which polygons are overlapping, uh, which are which are the polygons. And basically this option states that all attributes from the input feature will be transferred to the output feature class. And now I'm going to click OK. And now here you can able to visualize uh, our intersect tool is completed. You can able to see that. So in the table of content section, you can uh, visualize the Chinook Salmon on forest land. So now I have got my uh, Chinook uh, Salmon on uh, on the forest land. And now let us zoom to this particular area here. So you can able to view this particular color here. Now let me, I'm going to zoom that particular area here. And now let me turn off my base map here. It's taking a longer time to load. And now let's make our new layer or a halo here. So we're going to right click here and we're going to click this particular option, no color. Uh, but let's make the boundary a bit thicker. So let me go to this property section here. So in the symbology. So now let me make this uh, black and let me make this thicker width. Click OK and click OK. So now here you can able to visualize our new layer are indicated in 
a thick uh, boundary here. So now you can uh, able to visualize here the new layer that matches the outline of the salmon uh, species, fish species. So now let's make this particular salmon layer a bit transparent. So go to this display option here, I'm gonna reduce the uh, so now I have made the transparency to 50% and click OK. And now uh, we can see what's beneath it. So now uh, what we can see is the black outline that tracks where the both of these uh, overlap. So in the in this complex area in here. So now let me zoom into this part of this area here. So in this uh, complex area in here, it does not give back uh, us a polygon. To this portion in uh, between the small uh, polygons of the forest area here. So basically you can able to visualize here. The black outline here indicates the Chinook and Salmon uh, residing on the forest area. The black outline out, out, uh, indicates the, the Chinook Salmon resides on this particular forest areas. And here this particular uh, areas it does not overlaps uh, it does not overlaps on forest area here so it means that the chinook salmon species does not resides on this particular area here so here the green indicates the forest area and the black outline which indicates the the chinook salmon residing on this particular forest areas and the blue here which indicates the the salmon location in our watershed uh, areas so now uh, how to get uh, the answer to my question on how much of uh, the how much uh, areas of this forest uh, land is this species potentially is on so for that we're going to navigate to this particular layer called chinook salmon on forest land we're going to right click and click this option called open attribute table so now uh, let me navigate to this field called shape area here so so now uh, let me uh, right click on this field and navigate to this option called statistics so right here you can able to see some so I get the sum in uh, square meters of the total area of land. So this is our sum here in square meters. And it uh, looks like kind of a big number. So when we convert to a square kilometers, so the total uh, area will be is around 1,178,959 square kilometers. And now let me copy this particular area here, sum of uh, total area here, copy it. So now to calculate from square meters to square kilometers, now let me add the sum value here. So the square kilometers, so now we have converted to square meters to square kilometers. So the total area of uh, area of the, sp sp uh, the salmon species that occurs in the forest area, it is around uh, 17,819 square kilometers of area. So now uh, let me close this. And suppose if you want to identify the uh, salmon species uh, that occurs on a particular forest type, so you can able to visualize in this field called forest name here. We have a trinity forest type and license uh, forest type. Suppose if you want to identify the salmon species on, on this particular forest type, we can uh, use this particular option here. So we're going to navigate to this option called selection. We're going to click this option called select by attribute. So here I'm going to select this particular layer called Chinook Salmon on Forest Land. So in that we're going to search the forest here, the field called forest, the field called forest name here. We're going to click this and here we're going to click this option called get unique values. So here you can able to visualize the different forest name here. Suppose if you want to identify the salmon species that occurs on this particular forest called Trinity. So to calculate the area of uh, to calculate the area of the forest, uh, the forest land called Trinity, where the salmon species occurs. So for that, we're gonna click this. Uh, so we're gonna calculate the area of the salmon species that occurs in this particular forest called Trinity. So for that, we're gonna click this option here, equals to, and click this forest name called Trinity, and click, and now click this option called Apply. So once you did that, we're gonna right click on this layer, and uh, we're gonna navigate to this option called Selection. And we're going to click this option called zoom to the selected features. So here you can able to visualize it. So in the Trinity forest, uh, the salmon uh, species occurs in this particular areas. So now we're going to calculate the area for this particular uh, forest where this uh, salmon species occurs.
So here you can able to visualize this is the veterinary forest. So now let us calculate the area. So now uh, let me click OK here and uh, we're going to navigate to this layer, right click and open attribute. So navigate to the shape area here. So this is the shape area. So in the forest type, we have selected uh, Trinity using select by attribute. So now we're going to and now right click on the shape area and go to this option called statistics. So we can able to visualize the area here, the sum area. So the total area is around 188 square kilometers. So this is our total area for the Trinity forest where the salmon species occurs. It is around 188 square kilometers. So now let me close this. So uh, in this video, I have shown you how to analyze the fish species distribution on forest uh, land using Intersect tool in RGIS. So thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.